Hey fam, it's me Johnny. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how-to video and I'm going to explain to you how I packed my Fajas or four different Fajas and the ways that I wear them. How I packed my Faja based on the stages of healing that I was in. I'm also going to show you how to towel pack your faja if your waist and swelling is going down but your faja and your faja starting to feel loose or big. I'm going to show you how to towel pack your faja just in case you don't have the money to buy a new faja. Everybody's not going to be able to afford to buy two fajas, a first and a second stage. So I'm going to show you how I pack my faja with a towel it worked pretty well too so now that I'm not using Fajas I'm using waist trainers to uh, compress now before I get into the video I would like for you guys to give me that permanent hug and stay forever aka subscribe and yeah let's get into the video and I'm wearing a loose bra like a surgical bra or a loose fitting bra with no wire underneath this is a compression garment here see this thing here is a compression garment and it's a size extra small so this is a compression spanx kind of i just bought it it's kind of stretchy if you can see here so i bought this um an extra small and it kind of just goes up to here and it goes around my back you see how it kind of goes underneath this and i even put this on inside out because of the connections right here where the fabric kind of sticks out a little bit first garment i'm going to show you is my tailored first stage faja i had it cut into shorts and yeah i'm going to show you how i wear this and what i do to compress like i use um i use foam boards or foam lipo foam to compress in this because it is tailored um, it's not that difficult I mean it's difficult to put on it's kind of tight but this material for the first stage faja is very stretchy so some people wear like cotton shirts underneath which is just a little kind of shirt like this I brought that to just give you a little example and when you wear it make sure that you wear it inside out so that the grooves of the shirt won't imprint on your skin. This is my tailored faja. Okay, my tailored faja. This is how I compress with this faja, the tailored one. All the tension to the front. <laughs> so the next faja I'm gonna be showing you guys how to pack is my second stage Maria E faja. And this one's in a medium this is the one that I stopped wearing I should have stopped but I stopped wearing this is it here I might wear it tonight <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing my faja again. 
Cause this thing is sure is squeezing. I don't want to take this off. So last but not least, I'm going to show you this large and how to stuff your first stage faja with a towel if you can't afford to buy another, a second stage faja. So I'm going to show you how I stuff this with a towel. compress with what I normally do now because I only use waist trainers now to compress with lipo foam board and lipo foam so um, I'm just gonna use these little bands here and then apply my lipo board and lipo foam so I'm using a small and a medium to compress and the small is gonna be on the top and the medium is just gonna be on the bottom and what I do is just apply the medium and it just compresses right kind of with this enough pressure that I need so my abdomen is pretty long that's why I need two of these and I get the medium because it just applies just enough pressure so yeah that's it okay so fam thanks for watching this video so what we did here today was I showed you how to pack your faja how to stuff your faja using a towel and how I apply my faja and if I do wear my second stage I wear the second stage faja the brown one without any packing because it's very tight so hopefully I was helpful in this video and if you have any questions please list them down below and I'll make sure that I answer those accordingly and yeah I'll see you guys on the next video talk to you later bye